we will now create a manually generated 80s. I call a I call it a manually generated 80s because that is the 80s where you need to type the text yourself and you need to record all the message yourself. The first thing that we need to do before opening up the 80s dialog box is that we need to create a text file which is the one that Euroscope will use and will reference to when we want to create and save information regarding the manually generated 80s. So what I advise is that you open a Windows Explorer, go to the root file where you saved CZVRES files. Inside that folder there is a subfolder that refers to 80s and inside that folder as you can see those are all the sound files that are used when we create a, an automatically generated 80s. Now we are going to create a, a manually generated 80s so we need to create a text file and just right click, click new and create a text document and I suggest for you to name it 80s underscore Canada underscore manual so you can recognize it that's all you need to do, you don't need to include content into that file Euroscope will do it for us, we just need to create it and then let Euroscope know which file is it now you close it and now we can go to the uh, 80s dialog box of course before going there we need to make sure or just verify which which runways are the actives and in this case current winds in Vancouver are 2 to 0 at 6 so runways the two sixes are going to be the actives we open the 80s dialog box and now this is what we need to change tell Euroscope that we won't be referencing to this text file where all, which is the one that we used for an automatically generated 80s we are going to look for the manual we just created underscore manual and then click open and as you can see there is no information inside that folder because it is a it's a blank document now what you do is that you copy the name of that file without the extension without the dot txt and then you copy it there just get rid of the dot you copy it there and then you copy it and paste it here as well and click on new and as you can see now this upper section here is populated next thing we need to do is make sure that you have the correct ICAO code for the airport you are controlling retrieve the latest METAR, it's there already and now we need to create the text that the pilots will get when they tune into the 80s frequency so this is going to be Vancouver International Information India I'm keeping India you can change it as required or desired India weather taken at 0100 Sulu wind you need to do the magnetic correction yourself 220 at 6 visibility 30 sky conditions and here what I do is that I just copy and paste sky conditions few clouds 4500 broken 25000 we'll check on the ceiling at the end temperature 2 2 dew point 1 6 altimeter 2 9 or 7 6 IFR approaches ILS or visual runway 26 right and 26 left departures runway 26 right and 
two six left. I'm gonna make the text a little bit shorter here. Two six right and two six left. Oh wait, two six right and two six left. Advice ATC on initial contact. You have information India. Now let's check on the ceiling. We take a look at the remarks and ceiling is on the second cloud layer, so the ceiling is ceiling broken to five thousand. And now that the text is taken care of, this is the text that a pilots will get when they tune into the eighties frequency. Now we can use it to read along as we are recording the message, the, the sound part of the 80s. How to do that? You just click on Start Recording. When you click on Start Recording, the mic will open. You don't need to press the Push to Talk key. The mic will just be ready to record your message. Once you're done, you just click Stop Recording. Vancouver International Information India. Weather taken at 0100 Sulu. Wind 220 at 6, visibility 30, sky conditions few clouds 4500, ceiling broken 25000, temperature 22, dew point 16, altimeter 2976, IFR approaches ILS or visual runway 26 right and 26 left, departures runway 26 right and 26 left, advice ATC on initial contact, you have information India. Okay, that's taken care of. Now we're going to listen to it to see if it's, uh, it sounds the way we want it to sound. And in order to do that, first we click on Listen Playback and then we're going to click on Start Single Record Playback. If, if everything is okay, if, the, if we're satisfied with the sound we just recorded, the only thing we need to do is uncheck Listen Playback because we need it to cycle, we need it to be continuously running. Vancouver International Information India, weather taken at 0100 Sulu, wind 220 at 6, visibility 30, sky conditions few clouds 4500, seating broken 25000, temperature 22, dew point 16, altimeter 2976, IFR approaches ILS or visual runway 26 right and 26 left, departures runway 26 right and 26 left. Advice ATC on initial contact, you have information India. Vancouver International Information. Okay, so it's good, sounds good. Now what we need to do is just click on connect 80s. And as soon as we do that, you can double check on the upper right of the screen where that 80s will come on and how the 80s frequency also here on the top bar will activate itself. There we go, 80s frequency is up, 80s India on 1 to 4 decimal 6. And that's all we need to do for a manually generated 80s. Now you can click close. And we have a couple of aircraft on the ground. We'll deal with them. Before dealing with those aircraft, couple of comments regarding a manually generated 80s. When a new meter comes in for Vancouver it will become white. That means that there is an update on the meter and that means that every time this turns white, um, my apologies, this turns yellow, you need to go back to the 80s dialog box, take a look at the new meter, manually update the winds, the sky conditions, temperature, dew point, so you need to change those values. Not the, not the wording, but the numbers, and of course the sky, sky conditions as required. And if there is a, run, uh, a change in the wind direction, then you also need to change the active runways. And when you do it here, remember that what you're doing is that you're just updating the text part of the 80s. You need to record a new message now and post it. So what you do, 
to facilitate things is that you don't need to disconnect the 80s to do that rather you just click start recording you record a new message reading the new 80s once that is done you just come over here and click on stop 80s playback and then click again on start record playback and what it does is that it get rid of, gets rid of the old sound file that it was playing and it will now retrieve the new sound file that you just recorded and that is how you build a manually generated 80s thanks for watching